good evening children and welcome to this session it's a special session dealing with emotions now when i talk about emotional intelligence it means a lot because when we communicate it is related to communication when we communicate that time if our emotions are out of our control then our speech also goes out of control if we speak in an angry mood it is like that the speech is also like that with nice nice words coming out so in communication skill this especially emotional intelligence plays a very important part when we speak we should know how should we control our emotions and most of us have problem in controlling our emotions only before going to emotional quotient i would just tell you one small example not example i will tell you about my own intelligence ha huh? but don't laugh when i talk about my iq my iq approximately will be 1% not more than that i know it but my sq sq is nothing but spiritual quotient my spiritual quotient is 99% that is why my eq comes to 100 and if my eq emotional intelligence is 100% i would know how to manage my speech also in every situation whatever may be the situation i'll be able to handle myself my speech it won't go out of control i'll start with a small story it's not a story it's a personal anecdote very personal to me which made me realize what can happen with one connection wrong one wrong connection what may happen my daughter was 7 8 months old i got a letter from my uh, in law side from varanasi that my co sister has bought a olven fridge i was overjoyed i was very happy and i wrote back that this time when we would be coming to varanasi we will be eating lots of ice cream and kulfi etc we were very happy really outside i was very happy and i did not know what was working in my subconscious mind after a week a small problem came and that problem was i started having giddiness showed to the doctor nothing from giddiness i started getting headache at the back from headache i started getting nauseatic feeling like vomiting puking then i started getting severe acidity problem my husband got all my tests done but nothing was wrong but everything was wrong with me i could feel i could understand i was going through the pain physical pain and i didn't know what had gone wrong with me so he took me to varanasi to show to the doctors who were there because they are from dalmianagar in comparison to dalmian nagar the doctors were good there i went to the doctor he got me again checked all my test reports blood test this test that everything was normal so i just sat down quietly 
and I tried to analyze. Why did I get this when nothing is wrong in the report? Trust me, while digging back, I was able to find out the reason. Because everything started just after one week of getting that letter. And I realized my mistake that outward, I was very happy. Actually, I was happy. To be very honest, I was happy. But somewhere in my subconscious mind, it was going on. She bought a fridge. I don't have a fridge. This comparison might have started, which I did not know. Really, I did not know. And then when I realized, I saw the bills. The fridge was 3000 rupees that time. But my medical bill was of 4000. I could have bought a fridge only. And that was the day that I started doing the post-mortem of all my illness. And it was not done overnight. Step by step, I started realizing where I was making mistake and where my emotions were going out of control, whether knowingly or unknowingly. Do you get the small what anecdote I have told, the real anecdote of my life? This I have told you all so that you all understand that something may go in a subconscious mind and what was that? Nothing else but one comparison. Maybe comparison might have led to jealousy and irritation and what not. But everything was coming on physically with me. So it's necessary for us to keep our emotions under control. Now when I say emotional quotient or emotional intelligence, it is the same. Okay? I feel that it can be in two parts. One is self-competence, knowing about my own self, self-competence. And the other one will be social competence. But you must learn to analyze. The problem is there that we hear less, we listen less, we speak more. We don't, means we are not ready to accept our mistakes. At any cost, we always find the fault with other. That's the biggest mistake and the biggest challenge in our life. Now, when I talk about self-competence, it can be further divided into two parts. That is self-awareness. Very important. Knowing our own self. We know the entire world. Ajuwala, Bajuwala, everybody we know. But whom we don't know is really our own self. What are our plus points? What are our minus points? The pluses and minus we don't know. And most of the time, if I tell you just now, divide the page into two parts. Write one side your strength, one side your weakness and don't show it to anybody. Then do you know what will happen? If you are not showing to anybody, your weakness will be too many and strength will be one or two. If you are not showing to anybody and just the reverse, if you are showing it to others, you will try to show all your goody goodies. No weakness of yours. That's why I told you my own story. Now, self-awareness, when you come to know about yourself, this is my weakness. Don't tell anyone. But know yourself. This, 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 this. Then, with this self-awareness, how are you managing yourself? When I come to know, I must know to do the management of self. I have seen and witnessed that people do not know self-management. They only know to find fault in the entire world but not themselves. So self-competence, self when you should judge your own self before judging anybody else, self-awareness and self-management. When I talk about awareness, see the most important thing is one word called acceptance. And another word, no expectation. When I say acceptance, 
This is one of the key word. Acceptance and no expectation. Are you getting it? These two play a very important part in managing our emotions. How? For example, if I say, there are many things beyond our control. Right? Can we do something about it? If we can do, if we can do, then to no worry. And if we can't do, then to no worry. Now here, I take the support of spiritual quotient. It's very high. If your spiritual quotient, especially for me, it's very high. Because I know one thing for sure, I have surrendered myself to my Ramji and I have left it to him. I'll do my duty, I'll do my action, my karma. The balance is his. If he thinks it is right for me, he will give me. If he thinks it's not right for me, he will not give me. So when we talk about acceptance, see, uh, before your birth, uh, did you wish that you should be born uh, in a particular family? Did you choose your parents? Did you choose your color complexion? Did you choose the place where you will be born? Did you choose that what will be the status of the family? Did you choose religion? No. But when we were born, whatever it was, for a few years, unless the kachara came to our mind, up to that time, we were very, very happy. No issue. Chappals are there or no chappals. Whatever we had, very, it was very good. We were not bothered about anything in life. That time we started comparing, oh, that person has bought one chappal. The chappals are costly, yeah? Bas. This comparison came and the problem started having. They started coming one by one. Only because we started comparing with others. Up to the time there was no comparison. We were very rich people. We had um, no money, but we had our own boats, paper boats. Mary, Mary now. And that was, we were owners of our own boats. Have you all made sand, sand castles? As somebody used to put some sand, we used to go dasa. We used to put our uh, leg, put inside, dapa, 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 and one house was ready and one flag on top of it, my house. Isn't it? Now where has that everything gone? It has gone because we started comparing the root cause. Acceptance, there are many things beyond your control. Many, many things in life which you can't control. The things which you can't control, you try. But I suggest accept it. Many people tell, no, aim high, look at the moon, look at the sun and aim at the sun and sky and whatever it is. I say, you must know your limitations also. And if you want to be happy, really happy, aim high, knowing your limitations, working hard and walking towards it. It does not happen in one day or two days. It takes time. Another one, people with very high expectation, again your limitations, with very high expectation also, they cannot keep their emotions under control. Small example. As a mother, I am telling you, general mother, general I am telling, every mother has lots of expectation from children. When they are bringing up the children, 
they'll have lots of expectation. Now what happens when the children get married, they have their own priorities. They have their own family. They have their own responsibilities that they have to take care. Now, when the mother who is expecting the children to do for her and it is not done, then our emotions go out of control. So, there should not be any expectations. There should be no expectation at all. You just do your karma and leave it up to God. My funda in life is very simple. Very, very simple. How I have got it, I'll tell you. It sounds funny, but uh, it is reality. I have offered everything to Ramji. Whatever is happening in my life, I do my actions. I don't run away from my actions. But whatever is happening in my life, it is Ramji ki marji. And I wish for something. Suppose I wish. And if that thing does not happen, but I accept it. Every time parents don't give lollipops and chocolates to the children because the teeth would go bad. They will decay. So, if I don't get, I again accept it. Ramji ki marji. And so I am peaceful. My emotions don't go is out of control so easily. Many times we wish, we pray for something. We ask God for some wish. Sometimes the wish is granted. We are very happy. Balle, 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 balle. Very happy. God is great. He grants the wishes. Miracles happen. This, that. Another time when you wish for something and it does not happen. I am not ready to accept that. Why didn't it happen? I asked from God, why didn't it happen to me? Then it gives rise to the root cause of all the problems. That is anger. We get very angry, irritated. Sometimes when you are looking for promotion or high increment or something and it doesn't happen, what, what happens? It leads to anger, irritation. And as a result, you start suffering with physical problems. Sometimes we wish for something. We wish for something. It does not happen, but we accept it. We accept it, Ramji ki marji, my words. Then what happens? We become tolerant. Because we are accepting it. It did not happen according to my wish, but I am accepting it. We become tolerant. And sometimes when we accept it with a doubt, with a doubt we accept it, then what happens? We start getting fear. What will happen in future? Kya hoga? What's going to happen in future? Oh my God! What will happen 10 years down the line? Is there any guarantee of yours being 